All right, everybody, here we go. It has come to that time where we're going to fill in this gap. And I may not finish this up today, but I wanted to go ahead and get started and get a template at least cut out. And I've decided rather than go straight across, which might be, might not be easier because of all these curves right here. I've decided to go from here to here at an angle and worst case uh if i can't get my angle right for you know like a whatever 30 45 whatever on this as far as cutting the edge off because i don't have the best skill saw in the world and my table saw uh, is kind of ganky so we'll try and i wish i could actually do it with a jigsaw which i i know jigsaws have angles on them but we'll see what we can come up with uh, might actually be able to use the router to cut a 45. That's actually what I made the 45 and that other box with. Might be able to use the router to cut an edge on it. And we'll see. Um, that actually might be to play. Cut it out and then edge it off uh, with the router. Round it up. Put one of these over it. And seal it on both sides uh, with this. Anchoring it in um, with some screws to the box onto here and there you go but that's a pretty extreme if you look at it i mean it's damn near straight at the top because this in there it's gonna be kind of tricky and see this is what i was talking about this actually may be uh, a little bit more tricky than i think because see the way this bows out like this and this is dang near with this here if not i think it actually is because this rides inside see so i would actually have to ride on this board here and cut around but then this dip out here is going to be the problem and if i go all the way down um i don't know that's going to be kind of tricky but it could be done all right not saying i can't do it but it's almost like if you look at it, you come straight off, you'll hit that and that'll seal. But then you got to kind of contour around. And I'm not trying to get a whole lot of spray foam up in here. I'm not about that life. I know spray foam is the uh, quick fix for a lot of people's, but that's not for me. We actually have a light replacement for this right here. And hopefully I can get to the wires and everything. But I have a, a light mount for this uh, that just came in. Lights for the for the box for at night you can actually you know, be able to see the subs and all that so i'm not trying to foam up a whole lot of stuff in here let's get back to that uh this won't be that bad at all cutting this template out but the side templates they're going to be challenging and it's pretty much almost the same on both sides and cut one flip it and do the other side because the box is pretty centered uh, where it's at it rides on the rubber right before the rubber on both of them so it shouldn't be a problem there right here is going to be the issue where it flares all right everybody a little update here uh i cut my panel out after coming in here with a uh, cardboard template and kind of fiddling about with it to see how i want to do this because once again i'm not trying to do a whole lot of foam and as you can see right here i got my curve wrong and so we're going to cut this board again and use this as like a guide. And I found also where I was trying to contour around these curves in there, it's really not necessary so much. So when I get to this part right here where it kind of flares out, I'm just gonna ride that all the way down straight. As you can see, I think that's gonna ride just right. Um, I used my 45 on the router to, uh, well, that's a, what do you call it, a chamfer bit or whatever they wanna call it. Uh, to do a 45 on the back here and of course it's just sitting here it's not plugged up because you can see daylight back there but i believe i want to do this again because you see i did a round over this side 45 on the other side which kind of kind of made it look kind of funky so i think if i don't do the round over here do the 45 on the back that'll close in on the first layer of wood because this is a double layer box so the first layer and then what i'll do is before i do any of that uh, 45 and all that I'll just like round over that backside because I think I don't even need to 45 it at this point the way this is looking 
and just round over so it'll come up close to it but not this side just leave it cornered and then do some uh, Craig uh, bits on the back screws to go into this layer here because really I'm not seeing this you know taking a whole lot of pounding and I should be able to Craig it and then seal it if I like what I see on the back side with some uh, silicone or liquid nails or caulking or whatever even wood glue back here and then if I still have some air gaps or whatever you know which is not going to be perfect perfect but it'll be good enough for my needs and then like right here if I need to after that I'll skeet a little bit of foam I just don't want to break open a can of foam to do something one little spot or whatever or I might do the back side just on the wood all right but I don't want it to get messy uh, I want to get all of it cut out before we even seal it up like that uh, this right here has been a long while since I've actually made any templates like this and the first time using this uh, to actually seal stuff because uh, normally I would just fill it up with caulk or whatever you know but this I want this to be a clean build but initial impressions on how this is gonna look I think it's gonna be pretty nifty and then here on the top we'll uh, go all the way down to the bottom of this and follow this contour around here because the way this box is it's gonna be up in here see how it kind of slopes so that'll help us whenever we push up and I can actually have a little bit extra room up there uh, to push that up against here so this will be riding here all the way in might have to shave some of this off cut scissors and then bump it up and then it'll be riding all the way across here and if I get this right I'm dearly hoping that I can just flip it over use that side for that side which we'll do a test fit before I uh, finalize my cuts and then hopefully I'll be able to just flip it cut it do the same thing on this side uh, zip it up and be done with it boys once again we in the thick of it and I have wedged and fault uh oh yeah I need to get this shit away from here and won the battle with this and after further what are you doing calm down after further review on this I'm gonna have little pinholes here and there because the imperfections of this versus imperfections in this and you can see a little daylight in there so with that said we're gonna seal this up like this and this is what's gonna look like on the opposite side I'm about to move the car over got the top and all that is sitting up here on top of the carport uh, drying out because I put a couple of coats of gray and until we get everything ready this will work and what I'll do is I'll skeet just ever so slight bead of foam all around here just to seal it up on the back side I don't want anything on the front and since nobody will hardly ever see that if if at all because I'm gonna retint those back windows to match the front because that's like purple purple ish tint and you see all kind of jacked up in this that it has going on but we are about to do the other side and the top and I'll do this part later the bottom the floor because I want to think that one through just a little bit farther um, and then from there we got our centerpiece and I'll give you a brief review let's see if that'll open up like that because I need to get in both sides yep there we go all right so we're good there and while I got you on I might as well and I gotta be able to open that good perfect all right <clears throat> while I got you on I'll show you what we got going on today in the place I live which is basically live in a shop <laughs> so here's my side panels this one I believe is the driver side and nope nope this is the passenger side and this is the driver side yeah that's right and what we did I should have took some before and afters where's the other one? Oh, here it is uh, they were this color and now they're this color so we're going with the winter gray and this is a coat of winter gray and some 2k clear on here and the reason I didn't go super super thick on it is because that first coat actually hit it and this is gonna be down in the dark recesses, recesses of the floor anyway same thing here I hit it with a, a coat of winter gray 
and some 2k clear and i'm just letting these sit out here while i finish up and before the sun goes down we'll take them in and i have other pieces that are ready and we'll show you those at a later time but let's get this other one and let me tell you something <clears throat> this stuff <laughs> you better be ready if you use this idea and mr man didn't say anything about it i guess i should have known um you better be ready when you unhook this because it might not have stuck to that raptor liner very well but this stuff forevermore when it contacted this this wood even the bare wood on the back side it was like i am here forever i am here forever and so show you what this is going to look like out here and if i can get it to work with me which is not going to because i'm filming but you know it would be all right but i'm not going to take my strips off because i'm just going to get my length make sure my length is good might cut a little extra down at the bottom just in case we need to pull some at the top does that make sense yeah like that to go over to bend and then when we're ready and only then we're gonna peel these back and stick it. Yeah. And then do our bend right here and just take our time and pull and stick, pull and stick. Cause this stuff right here, if I'd have known it was gonna stick like that to this wood, woo, I would have been a little bit more careful. And my, my top part, the headliner part of it, I may actually, may actually have to piece it together and and I am going to put me, I don't know, about a half inch or so extra. Just for mistake purposes and stretch and shrink and whatever. And uh, another thing, the mosquitoes and the no see gnats and every other pest there ever was and ever will be is awake right now. But see, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to piece this side part together. And I believe what I'm gonna do because I'm I messed around and cut a piece and I was very well gonna use that piece right there for the top this but and I can always go back and get a and get another piece but see I'm a little bit short right here and so what I'm gonna do is cut a piece stop in the middle ish put the other piece and go here and be done with it did a round over and paint because uh, this is going to meet up right at the bottom of the top of the baffle. So you're going to see it like that. And I, and I very well could have smoothed that out. You see that right there? I worked on that and worked on it. I didn't want to saw it anymore. But there we go. Let me get this together. Show you the semi-finished results. Because we're still going to have some tidying up to do. I'm, I may or may not shoot that phone tonight. Not 100%. Um, it's getting late, of course once again stay tuned all right everybody i'm gonna do this a little different i'm actually gonna hold the gopro because i need to cut my hair and this band likes to smash down my uh my hair and i was gonna get footage yesterday but of course of course it was dark and we couldn't do it oh there's that splatter right there shoot I had a flake right on off. Look at that Raptor liner. OP. Look at there. Nothing sticks to Raptor. It's like Teflon on the car, man. I love it. All right. So I'm not going to be able to open this all the way, but enough. I want to show y'all what we got going on today. And it's not finished by no means. But here we go. I do have, I got some more work to do to it. Of course, you can see down here in the bottom. We still got to do the bottom plate and that's going to be tricky but i want it to match up right here or here on the bottom of the box and go down and follow the contours of the floor and all that and i guess i should have actually put this seat up too uh, let's try this again uh, so we still have some more work to do got the floor to do but for the most part and I do have a flashlight I can show you because I know it's still dark. It's hard to see 
in my car. Is that right? Oh, shoot. All right, anyway. Yeah, here we go. So you see, we're filled with foam. And there's foam behind, which I'll show you. And a little bit leak, for, but for the most part, for the most part, as you can see, no foam leaked through, so we got a good seal. And when I get the floor done, then we'll cut back on these little pieces that are extra. And right here, you can see where the foam come there, so we're sealed up. I have it in the corners here as much as I can reach in here. And this is pushed up as hard as I possibly could. And it's pretty flush. You can see where it's got a little lip right here. So we got a pretty good seal on there like that. And I have a light to go in that fixture right there. And over here on this side, you can see no foam seep through on that side. And once we get these areas here and here done, then we'll be good to go. As far as having a uh, walled off, walled off build. Now, back here, here's where I foamed it. And I shot foam up in there as much as I could. All right. And I try to keep it clean, but you know, foam, it, it says no, no clean. And I'll get these little extra pieces off here like that. But this is sealed off. And I did raptor this, and there's a reason for it. Time. Uh, and I think the winter gray accents that I have going on on the dash and the center console, um, it's subdued. If I take the light away, it actually blends in quite nicely with the uh, gray, the winter gray panels. Show you all like that. And I don't know, but we'll try to get a, a wide shot of it like this and see what you can see over here and over there and I think the gray panels actually look good and also too if I want to add stickers to these pillars like if I want to showcase this you'll be able to see the stickers now I am going to come back with these screw holes here and put some gray paint in a cup and go over those I might actually wood putty those and then paint them to get it smooth because I want that to be clean and I will be putting stickers up here across here. Probably my sundown audio, maybe a down for sound, I don't know, excess power. But I'm going to do most of my stickers inside of here. And then here, if I can find the template for it. Well, I thought this thing moved for a second. That's my, I'm tripping. Um, I want to put NX1728. I think that would be awesome. Y'all get the reference? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and then we have a few more things to do. Such as paint the carpet get it get some tough stuff and get that carpet clean get some fabric and paint cleaner and yeah then we'll be almost done so there we go we'll have a look at the other side also and see how it's sealed up as you can see the uh it got on the car some but i wanted to make sure i had a for damn sure seal on this and this stuff peels away pretty good and then we can cut it back all right so there's that bottom sealed it up and then we're going to wait for that void there for whenever we do the floorboard and i know everybody's probably going to give me crap about not doing under here and back here but back here i have just enough room and i'm thinking i can finagle um some fabric back here on top of this and lay it out and Maybe put some stick them on it, make it tacky to where I can lay a uh, fabric cloth over here. If I can squeeze it in and then roll it out. You feel me? So that'll be hard, but we can get it in there because this box ain't coming out. I mean, it's in there. Check it out. And over here, where I was trying to keep it clean, here, 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 I actually need to... Oh, no, that right there. You see this? This screw and this screw broke out of the box and I meant to bring the screw out here to show you but anyway the uh I was wondering why it was getting a rubbing and kind of a like this when I was playing I was like what the flip is that the box the pressure of the, the base blew the broke the screws so I had to add a screw 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 and since nobody's actually going to see this I'm probably going to come back with a couple more here in the near future one here one here but I retacked it and hopefully that'll hold it together and this will give us some bracing and something that foam does very well because it acts as a glue. So this stuff is in here. As long as I don't go crazy with it, it'll settle in and that'll be a good uh, air barrier, smoke barrier, all that good stuff. 
And so there we go. All right, so one more look from the front. And this will be the update for, we'll get this side. Let's have a look at the subs inside the box here. I'm gonna be adding lights. I have lights, I don't have time. Cause I was tired, tired. So I slept in until about nine o'clock this morning. But here's the subs. And be a good thing for me to look at this anyway. To make sure my wiring is still good on everything. But we're gonna be adding lights to the box. And I'm thinking about the other two lights, maybe putting them down here in the low corners in the bottom. Or one down here for lighting someplace. Uh, and then one up here for main cabin lighting. And then I'm going to put this one on a separate toggle switch. So that I can just have lighting in the car. And there you go. And then use these other three for uh, show purposes. So yeah, we're getting there boys. We're getting there. Got a few more detail things. Um, I think I may or may not have shown the uh, painting that I've done to the interior, but I have center consoles done, side flaps are done. I gotta find my cup holder that goes in the main part in the very front, it goes up here in this spot. I have no earthly idea what I did with it, but once I pull everything out, all the other hardware uh, that holds the console in, we'll probably find it. And the armrest is the only other thing that goes here in the armrest. Only other thing, I'm not 100% if I'm gonna put it back in. I will prep it, get it cleaned up, paint it in case I decide to, and that'll pretty much be it. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on putting the console in because I still wanna paint this. I need to pop this out. And I wanna paint this part right here, same thing as the winter gray here. This side, I may save for a later project. And of course, these side panels here, I wanna take those out also and touch those up with some paint. So we still got a lot of work to do. And between, you know, five day stand of work, a day off to get everything that I need to get done plus this project. It's just time consuming, but I'm trying boys. I'm wearing myself out trying to get it done uh, so that we can actually do some proper demos. Now with this part right here, this is going to help tremendously with the project and I believe and I can already hear how it's, you know, this is now the, another chamber. Um, it's going to keep the, the, you know, the pressure forward and not leaking through the sides like it was before so and i used the birch on the sides uh because i still had this, this much plus some scrap that's left over and i still got about another half a sheet and we're going to do the trunk with that since it is lightweight uh we'll cut out the trunk and get that going probably friday all right so until then i'm just going to let it ride we're at a stopping point at the uh, with this build right here and we'll get back to it with uh, lighting and the trunk double run of zero gauge to the amp and then the only other things from there are beefing up the electrical some more another group 34 battery I know everybody's going with lithium but my car uh, is total electric everything on it's electric and I want to just keep it with regular batteries and I'm not trying to go crazy with a million watts and two group 34 batteries plus the uh, I don't know what is it uh, the super Walmart battery whatever for running the car, it's gonna be enough for me. All right, that's gonna be plenty. And I keep all that clean, it's all in the trunk. That's where the factory stock is anyway. We'll run another run eventually of zero gauge from the front. Uh, that'll be two runs of zero gauge from the alternator. Uh, beef up the grounds and little things like that. So now, um, it's just working on detail. Plus we still have to do the door panels, uh, which I'm gonna take my time on the door panels because I have uh, an idea that I want to do with the door panels, but I'd like to actually find a, 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 like a wreck or something to where I can get some other door panels to do that project. And I have some epoxy coming to fix this. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, then I'm definitely going to have to find door panels. All right. So that's enough ramble. Still a lot of details. Still a lot. It never ends. Just like work. So let me get ready for that. I got to spin the car around. I need to get the O scope out here. I'm going to reset my game because. I didn't set it properly last time, and the the only thing well the only thing I didn't do is I didn't have my base knob all the way up, so I need to rescope it and get that done before I go to work. All right, so here you go. One final look at this. I think it's coming along nicely. Get the floor done Friday. Get the trunk started. Uh, double runs. Woo man, all kind of stuff. Fun, fun. But it keeps me out of the bars and the casinos. It's a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun. 
Woo! Bye, bitch. Later.